What's up, guys? I'm going to do a commentary video for each of these uh, YCS Denny's videos. Uh, the only uh, thing I'm going to do is only going to commentate for like the first uh, game, and then the rest of the match, uh, I'll let you guys uh, watch it without any sort of commentary. Uh, so I'll at least give you that uh, for each of these videos. So on the left side, uh, I'm going to be playing the uh, Chaos Fairy deck, and on the right side, it will be the uh, Power Tool Plant deck. So uh, let's start us off. The uh, right turn player goes first. He does a T set, I believe. And he passes. Not sure what I decided to do here, but I think I do a T set as well to match him. So the card I set here is most likely a Sangan, uh, backed up with a Torrential. I only do this because if, in case he uh, has a Raikou, he can flip it to if he pops the uh, monster, um, then I get to flip the Torrential to a Tribute Summon Caius. Uh, that's what I decide to do in my mind if it is a Raikou with a Caius backed up. If he just straight up just summons the Caius, I can just flip the Torrential and it'll be a 2 for 2. Or a 2 for 1. 2 for... Yeah, it would be a 2 for 1. So he activates the Wing Blast. Uh, not during the end phase. Uh, my guess is because he, drawn he drew into the Dandelion this turn. So he wants to uh, do it on his main phase. So he targets the back row here. I choose not to chain it. It might have been the MST after all. That, I, uh, that he returned back to the top of the deck. He gets the two Dandelion tokens here, and he can easily tribute for a Caius here. Uh, he tributes the Dandelion to go into the... Um, the Dandelion token into the Lone Fire, and then this play he can put the... Uh, with the second Lone Fire, he can tribute the first Lone Fire in attack mode to go into Titanial. Oh, it looks like he goes for the uh, other line where he tributes the token instead. Not sure why. Um, putting a lone fire in attack mode doesn't seem like a good idea, and if you're trying to preserve life points. Okay, he flips the tomato here. Uh, yeah. So and then uh, he declares an attack with Titanial first. Uh, he does this because um, if if I uh, if that monster was something that wasn't tomato or a recruiter, uh, then he can attack with these smaller monsters. If I drop a Gores on the Titanial or on the smaller monster swings, he can swing over it easily, and the Titanial can run over the Gores easily. If I get a Tomato and put it into attack position, uh, he can crash his Tomato into my Tomato, and then I would have to resolve my Tomato first. A cool play I could have done here is make a um, make a Tomato first, and then he crashes uh, my t his Tomato into uh, my Tomato, and then I bring in a Gale on this one. Uh, and then if I have a level 4 in my hand, I can make a Black Rose. And he crashes. So this puts up the three darks in my graveyard so that I allow I can draw into a dark arm potentially and then uh, pretty much clear the board. The only problem with that is that the dark arm uh, would not be able to run over the uh, titanial. And if I use dark arm's effect, titanial can just tribute a, a contribute a plant and destroy the uh, the monsters. Uh, I can destroy my uh, dark arm dragon. So his tomato goes into an Armageddon Knight so he can send off a plague spider zombie. And then I take damage because uh, everything is going to be in attack position. So. so I take 1300 damage total. So he activates alert here to draw two cards after thinning out his deck uh, by using all the tomato crashes. And he banishes the Trigodia. Then he special summons Dark Arm here. Uh, Dark Arm here seems kind of unnecessary uh, just because I could brain control, but I, I think he reads that if I do have brain control, uh, he can just negate the, uh, the, targeted, um, the targeted card. I do have the brain control in my hand, so that's uh, pretty much a plus. But I could also have mind control as well. Um, so what I do here is I think I mind control or brain control the dark arm. And then he uses titanial to negate the brain control. And then I use Herald of Orange Light to negate the uh, the titanial effect. So that's why I can steal his dark arm and recover. And with four darks in my graveyard, I'm allowed to use his effect for at least four times. So I can use the three uh, cards, the three darks, to basically destroy... Um, the uh, the Lone Fire and the Armageddon Knight, and then one um, and one more Dark to destroy itself. So I have to be Brain here, targeting the Dark Arm, and then he negates the uh, Brain Control, and I activate Herald of Orange Light. So the Dark Arm would also be able to check the Gores if he does have it. So I summon the Honest here in my hand and then attack uh, 11 and uh, 28. 
so this puts him on a two turn clock. Uh, well, not really a two turn clock, but I put him to almost half his life points. So he does not have the gores. Uh, and then on uh, main phase two, I use uh, Dark Arm's effect to destroy itself. So this way, he won't get his Dark Arm back. So with the Dark and Light in the graveyard, I could still spell some Chaos Sorcerer if I do draw into it. Uh, look, by looking at his hand, he does have a Mark of the Rose, so he won't be able to steal anything on my side of the field because I don't have anything for him to steal. He passes his turn. I think I draw into a Goblin Zombie and I set it, and I just pass. No, I, su I summon Honest. So I summon Honest here and declare an attack for 1100, whittling his life point away, and then uh, bouncing my hand back. Um, I wasn't afraid of Gores because last turn he doesn't had he didn't have the Gores when I had the Dark Arm, but I guess he could have had it and he just didn't want to use it uh, because he knows that Dark Arm would just pop it. So that was a risky play for me to attack with the Honest there, especially since he just passed doing nothing. But the risk paid off. Uh, he didn't have it. Um, so he activates uh, Reinforcement of the Army to search for the Twilight Rose Knight. This allows him to make a Power Tool Dragon if he does have a level 4 monster in his, in his hand to special summon off the uh, Twilight Rose Knight. I believe it has to be a plant monster too, so um, yeah. So instead of attacking or making a synchro play, he sets a monster. So I draw for turn here, and I, can, I have the option of summoning the Honest to attack over the set, uh, but I choose not to do that. Instead, I choose to set the Goblin Zombie. Uh, he draws into, I believe, a Caius here. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't summon it right away to just sack and destroy my set. But I think he was afraid that I might uh, use Gore's effect to uh, do uh, reverse or effect damage against him. So he would take uh, 2,000. Uh, he would go down to 2,000, and then my Gore's would be able to clear him. So I think that's what he was mainly trying to play around here. Because I, I, did, I did just summon the Honest and attack. And then I bounced it back to my hand without anything. So he feared the gores while I didn't, was what it came down to in this game. Because if I get him down to 2,000 light points with gores of reverse burn damage, um, then I all I needed was to summon any monster with the 1,600 attack uh, for game. Yeah. Was it 1,600? No, it would have to be uh, 1,700. Because the gores over the Caius would be 300. And then I would have to summon something with 1,700 attack. So Mizuki would have to clear him. I think that was the thought process he was thinking why he didn't want to summon the uh, Caius to the uh, to burn my set monster. Which was most likely going to be a uh, a dark monster, given the circumstances. So instead he does this play where he flips uh, Twilight Rose Knight and he makes a uh, Goyo Guardian. He gets two token here. So he contemplates whether he wants to activate the effect of Goyo to steal my Goblin Zombie. I don't see a point in doing that. Uh, this play leaves him susceptible to like any sort of like mind control or brain control, but I already use brain, so it have to be mind control with the Plague Spreader Zombie that I searched off of the Goblin Zombie. Okay, so I activate the effective Goblin Zombie. Most likely I search for the Plague Spreader Zombie. Okay, and he sets the back row. Okay, I draw for turn here. Let's see what I do. I top deck the MST to destroy his MST, and then I... Looks like I have Sorcerer here. I use Sorcerer Effect to banish the Goyo. Uh, this is a, a play where I can remove three cards off his board. If I summon the Plague Spitters on me, uh, I can summon the Dark End and then attack with the token, and then send the last token in the graveyard. There's a play where I can make the uh, make a Colossal Fighter and crash into the Goyo, but he does have Warriors in his graveyard, so I wouldn't be able to do that. But instead, I make the Dark End play, which is actually better, even though a uh, Colossal Fighter could. Uh, theoretically crash into the Goyo if he had no warrior monsters. Because this way, if he does uh, use the Mark of the Rose, he won't be able to send anything off because I wouldn't have anything. I wouldn't have anything to send off with the uh, Dark End's effect. So the Plague Spreader uh, in the graveyard, he can top deck uh, and then make a, a Caius play. He could use Mark of the Rose, um, but if he makes a Caius, he has to banish something. So that wouldn't be a good play. So he's committed to doing the uh, Plague Spreader effect to sacrifice for Caius and banish my uh, Dark End here. Okay, he commits to the play that I uh, predicted. He still summons the Plague Spreader Zombie, and then he banishes for Caius. I think he took a while to uh, do this play because he was considering using or setting a card uh, along with the Caius, and then be able to banish the, that card with Caius, as opposed to top decking for Plague Spreader Zombie. But he goes for this play because uh, he doesn't mind drawing that extra copy. So I'm pretty 
pretty much price to do my uh, my plague spreader zombie into a Caius play as well. Um, hopefully he doesn't have a back row to deal with my uh, my Caius, and it would be lethal because uh, Caius uh, is a dark monster, so I can burn him for a thousand and attack directly for twenty four. Yeah, so that was pretty much the battle of the Caius. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the game one ca uh, commentary. So enjoy the rest of the match. Peace out. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait, is there four? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'll just do the one, two, three. It's uh, 24.
Okay. Oh. Yes, you Hopefully I get lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Get the dark one. Uh, it's next to the one cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Twenty one. Two, right? Thirty one. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, um, you don't kill it, Oh no, no, it's right there. No, you put it back. Yeah. It's like winter. There's a card I don't know and then tornado. Then I can get that back when I Yeah, I get it back. Yeah. I might know the Dandelion. <laughs> um, that would be nice. I might attack this first since it's not a Dandelion. Would have been pretty good. Do you want? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Get the dark one. Wow. Top dick. Yep. Top dick. <laughs> Yeah. 
I mean, if it's a tie, it's second one. No. Yeah. Of course, you have to make selective. Cougar? Oakland has a lot of power. I have a player on the Kayak, so. Their only best pitcher is a I know where that set is. I do. Mm. And instead of fan going with it. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, unless you want to do something else. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh my god. Both games in a row, bro. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Short? No. Thank <laughs> you. 
だとテレビに流れてるんだけど、ね、あとはテレビに流れてるんだけど、テレビに流れてるんOh, yeah, because I want to know what he was doing. Oh, that's right. Well, I might be curious to bring it all over. Okay, one, two. All right. One, two. Go back to the grave or go back to the grave? Go back to the grave. I'm going to sit right now. Oh, wait, we don't have another one. I don't. Just to get the other one. Mm hmm.
Oh, you want to call me? No, I'm going to call you. Okay, you're just saying one priority right now, right? Birthday. Uh, Four dollars. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we. No pressure. No pressure. I just got to do. Oh, I put mine in the top of the deck. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? What? Yeah. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Uh huh. Yeah, no, no, no. Where the fuck are my power cards, bro? Yeah, no, no, no. Come on, nigga. Unfortunately, the bride has died. Okay, the fact that's ready. Nothing. Dark on the. Is it? Would it be light? Oh, yeah. Dark on would be light. Shit. I'm gonna push it up, bro. Better yeah. draw a fucking DDR, bro. 48? 41? Mm -hmm. Fuck, you can't make that shit up. Okay? <laughs> oh, the darker was the next fucking card. Oh, uh, no. Ay, ay, ay. 